Uh, we're heading into a new dark ages in which only small elites will have the knowledge and the skills in order to understand the world and what is going on in the, in the corridors of power and influence. And when it comes to cultural matters, uh, culture is being leveled down to the least common denominator and it keeps getting lower and lower. I don't know if you've read the, the book Fahrenheit 451, but at the end of that book you have small groups of rogue figures in hiding walking through the woods and each one is memorizing one book in order to keep that book alive because the book burning is going on everywhere else. I think, I think we're, we're heading into some, some elements of that uh, uh, these days. So uh, the only way we won't is we get, if we get pushback from businesses, from wealthy, wealthy organizations, wealthy businesses like Emory University, which is a business. Uh, and it's a business that, that undervalues education, uh, especially undergraduate education, precisely in, in areas of the liberal arts, liberal learning. Uh, but when businesses find that the spread of digital habits among young people is costing them money, they will push back. If they find that all this texting, posting, blogging, emailing, IM, chat, whatever, is yielding young people coming into our workplace who can't write, and we're having to bring in coaches to teach them how to write, that's an expense. And if it gets too big, we're going to ask the schools to do something about it. That's when you might get, get a, a reserve uh, of, of literary culture, you know, old-fashioned reading and writing uh, and appreciation uh, taking place that might, that might slow the, the, the deterioration uh, of, of U.S. culture into, uh, into juvenilia. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pessimistic about, about any... And I mean, it's, it's a tidal wave. And there are too many advantages to cell phones, to laptops, to email, to take the disadvantages too seriously. And the disadvantages are often long-term, not short-term. The advantage of email, it's right there. I don't have to pick up the phone and call someone, make a long-distance call, and I don't want to talk to that person anyway. That two-sentence email, that's wonderful. Um, I can look at op-eds all over the world, you know, every morning in my room. It's, it's a miracle. So those advantages are, are so strong. And what are the disadvantages? Well, you're not reading enough books. Well, I mean, I read some books. Uh, How is it going to benefit me to read any Friedrich Nietzsche? That the formation that comes with reading a lot of books in your teenage years, sometimes you don't even feel the difference until you're 30, 40 years old. So the disadvantages, they're too, they're, 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 they're too far reaching. They're too far down the road to have any power to stay the, the course uh, into fast, fast communication and fast culture and and mass politics and all the rest. Great books. Thank you so much. What a downer. <laughs> <laughs>